So this video continues on following the last video that I did, which was just the introduction and in installation of SAS. Now we did Dart SAS in the first video, which if you look on the homepage for SAS Lang, the website for SAS, that's one of the options right here. There's two other ones as well. There's LibSAS and RubySAS. RubySAS is the one that I had installed previously. I uninstalled it and installed Dart SAS just to try out the two. The basic syntax that you're doing in SAS, what you're writing the syntax, that's going to work pretty much the same regardless of the version. There's minor differences as there is with every version of every language or every framework that you use. Um, but for the most part, you can use them interchangeably. And there's a great website called sasmeister.com. This will let you try out the SAS that you're using. So as you're writing SAS, you want to know whether or not it's working. If you've done something correctly or incorrectly, this is a great place to test it. There's an option section here that lets you choose between the different versions. Right now, I've got it set at SAS version 3.5. This is the SAS that I wrote in the first video, copying it out, and I can see immediately what it looks like when I compile it. I can change things inside here, and as I change them, I don't have to do anything else, it just recompiles, and you can see that it recompiled here. Change this back to the variable gray. There it is. And if you make typos as well, you're going to get these error messages so you know what the problems are in your code. Now I wanted to talk about the output methods in this one. If you come into the Options tab for SASMeister, we can see here that there are for SAS four different options. So expanded, that's the default. It looks just like you've written CSS, carriage return after every property value pair, carriage return after every one of the curly braces. If you've got spaces, those spaces are going to be carried over for the most part. Nested looks a lot like the expanded, except the closing curly brace is moved up to the previous line. If there's properties, so right here I've got paragraphs that are inside main. If I then had a style for spans inside paragraphs inside main, that would be nested inside of here. So we could write it nested here, and it will convert it as well. Now there is compact which puts every style on one line. So here's a selector. I've got one property. If I were to add another property, let's say font size 0.9 REM, that property gets added to the same line. So that is our compact. And then compressed is everything's put together on the same line. All of the extra spaces are removed. So those are the four choices that we have, and those are available through SAS. Dart SAS, our choices really come down to expanded or compressed. The other two don't work. If I try to set one of the other options, if I go nested, I will get an error message. So Dart SAS does not yet support nested or compact, which isn't really a big deal because expanded is how you're going to look at it while you're testing, while you're experimenting, as you're developing compressed, that's what you want when you put it up on the actual website after you've compiled it and you're going to put it live on a production site. You want compressed. You want to reduce the file size as much as possible. So I'm using Dart SAS, which means I've got these two styles, expanded and compressed. The way I would use this is if I were to go back, here's my watch command that I was using last time. So it's watching for changes. If I come in here and I make a change Let's say I add my font size 0.9 REM and I save it. I can see, okay, that's working. Great. Now I will control C to quit out of that. I'm going to take the same command. And what I want to do is I'm going to add another flag at the end. So two hyphens followed by the word style. And then I can add the option expanded, compressed, compact, those different styles. Now, since this is Dart, I really only have the two choices. I can say expanded. Okay, it's waiting for changes. And let's make this 0 0.8 just to have a, a change in the file. Okay, it's compiled it. If I look at main.css, there it is. And this is the expanded version. If I come in here, let's undo that. And instead of expanded, let's put in compressed which is our other option. Now it's watching for changes. I'll come back into my SAS file, 
and we'll put this back to 0.9, save it. The change has been made come back into our main CSS and there it is this is the compressed version of that same file so expanded great while you're working on it while you're developing it for the production version you're going to want to have the output set to compressed so compressed and expanded those are the two options that we want and back in here for Sassmeister great place to come I'll put the link to this in the description for the video as well and just remember if you are using libsass or dartsass or sass there may be occasionally options which are different between the different versions but you can experiment with these great website hope it helps you out hope this video helped you out if you have any questions feel free to leave them in the comments if you found it useful please share it with other people and as always thanks for watching